What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the uh, channel. In this video we're going over the top 4 attack strategies for Town Hall 7 as of right now. And to be honest, I don't think this list is going to change anytime soon because Town Hall 7 is very stagnant. It doesn't get a lot of, you know, upgrades or any new troops or anything like that. Uh, before we jump into the replays, there will be a link in the description for each replay that we go over. So if you want to see the attack in more detail, just go down to the description and click the link that you want to see. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the first attack here for Town Hall 7. Starting the list off at number 4, we have the G Wee He attack. Probably the most uncommon attack at Town Hall 7. But it is a powerful attack strategy as long as you can take down the air defenses. So we have giants coming down along with wizards, the king, a couple of wall breakers to break through that first layer in order to target that first air defense. And then we have our CC hogs, I believe they're dropped with the giants as well. Uh, the base, I don't think is a max to hall 7, it looks like he's on his way to maxing out the base. But if you want to see more replays against tougher bases, the link is in the description for this attack strategy. Like I said, it's not very popular versus like the mass hogs or the drags which we'll get into a little later, but this strategy is available to anyone who doesn't have hogs or drags and needs a decent attack strategy in order to pull off those three stars. You can also use Jibarch. Uh, I'm not going to include Jibarch in this list. I use Jibarch mainly for farming, but Jibarch is also a good alternative if you're going against weak talent 7 and you just need to pull off the three star without having hogs or drags. As you see there, both of the air defenses went down. My healers have switched over from the giants to the barbarian king. And it doesn't really matter at this point, as soon as the healers come out and the air defenses are down, you're pretty much guaranteed a 3 star as long as you place you know, your minions and your cleanup troops in a good position to help the giants and whatever's in the middle to help clear the remainder of the base there. But like I said, this is number 4 on our list. I'm going to go ahead and speed through this part here. It does take a little while for the remainder of the replay to go through. You can see I'm only left on the back end of my giant. And that's why it's number four on our list. It's not super powerful versus, you know, the hogs or the dragon attack strategies. But it is an option for those who need it. So Jiwi He is number four on our list. I'm going to four times it here. And uh, as the giants, the minions, and the king make their way to each of the remaining defenses and take it down. So Jiwi He is number four on our list. It's an interesting attack strategy, like I said, it's not super popular, but if you need an attack strategy and you don't have hogs and you don't have dragons, I definitely would recommend Jiwi He. Again, link is in the description for those who need it. And coming in at number three, we have the Mass Hog Attack. Now, it was a tough choice to put this one at third and the second attack at second, but because of, and once I get to the second attack, I'll show you why. Uh, the Mass Hog Attack is one of the most powerful attacks at Town Hall 7. However, because it does have a slight weakness to it it is possible to not get the three star with it but most of the time i would say nine out of ten times you are able to get the three star with mass hogs now this is not an extreme example because my king is not really in the middle he's not really like centered off into the middle and the base isn't real too big with like spreading out the base and making sure it's like hard to get into the base and everything but there are certain bases who take town hall 7 pretty seriously and you know the clan castle is hard to lure out or the Barbarian King is really entrenched into the middle and that is the only weakness to the mass hog attack but it pretty much runs through any base that it comes across. You just see all these hogs coming down, we got heal spells to help them out and they completely decimate the base even with the King running around and trying to kill the hogs. Now the hogs like I said it could run into an issue with the King running around not killing him maybe you can't lure the CC. You should always be able to lure the CC with this attack strategy. If you cannot lure with just one hog, place four or five down, let them take down one of the defenses as they make their way towards the middle of the base. But uh, mass hogs, it is an extremely powerful attack strategy. It absolutely destroys tons of bases. And the only reason it won't work is if you cannot lure the CC troops, which you should always be able to, or if the king somehow follows them around long enough to where either like a double bomb takes out all your hogs at once, because a double giant bomb will destroy your hogs immediately so if someone has a double giant bomb your hogs will go down instantaneously unless they're under a heal spell but mass hogs is at number three and you'll see why number two is over this one so it was very very close in terms of rankings and coming at number two we have the mass hogs counterpart i guess the kill squad hog attack again all these attack strategies are in the description so you can see against you know more replays more detailed analysis all that good stuff but the kill squad hogs trumps the mass hog attack strategy because it can deal with any CC, it can deal with any king placement, you know, it, it can deal with any base basically, and that's what makes it more powerful than the mass hogs. Because again, if you go against those town hall sevens that are really trying to keep you away from luring the CC, or you know, has a really entrenched king and the king causes problems, or a double giant bomb, you know, 
Kill Squad Hogs trumps all that because the Kill Squad can kill the King, Kill Squad can kill the CC, and as long as you have that heal spell in order to, you know, help your Hogs out, if they hit a Double Giant Bomb, you're guaranteed a 3 star on any base. Any base. As long as you come from the King side or the CC side with the King, you are pretty much guaranteed a 3 star 100% of the time. Kill Squad Hogs cannot be stopped, just like Mass Hogs. Mass Hogs is very powerful as well, but because of that slight, slight weakness, I had to put it down at third. But as you can see here, guys, the base is pretty much wrecked. I use the Kill Squad to come in, take down the CC, take down the Enemy King, and then use my Hogs on the other side as they make their way around the base with that heal spell and keep them alive. It's a very easy attack strategy, super powerful to do. Again, link is in the description if you want to see a more detailed video on it. But Kill Squad Hogs is just slightly stronger than Mass Hogs. And finally, coming at number one, I'm pretty sure you already guessed it before I even played the replay, it is the Mass Dragon attack strategy, which is kind of a contradiction to me and people who know me, but the Mass Dragon attack strategy cannot be stopped. I haven't found one base that can stop the Mass Dragon attack strategy. It is absolutely destructive. As long as you come from the opposite side of the air sweeper right here, you see it's pointing, hold on, let me see if I can get it, nope, it's already gone. But anyway, it was pointing towards this side right here, and as long as you come from the back side of the air sweeper, you are guaranteed a three star every single time. Of course, you need to place your rages, you know, effectively, make sure you're using them wisely. As you see, I'm using those rages on the loons, because I really want the loons to snipe off the air defenses in the back, but very powerful. I don't think any base can stop it. I have not been able to not get a three star with the Mass Dragon attack strategy against any Town Hall 7. I've been able to hit, you know, weak Town Hall 8s with it, with, you know, their max air defenses. It's just super, super powerful. Highly recommend checking out the video if you guys need more replays on the Mass Dragon attack. But the Mass Dragons is the only attack of Town Hall 7 that has no weakness. Kill Squad Hogs, you might, you know, lose all your Kill Squad and your Hogs end up dying from a Double Giant Bomb. It could happen. It's not likely, but it could happen. The Mass Dragons, no CC can stop it. No placement, no, you know, different way. I mean, if they place the air defense on the outside, they're leaving themselves vulnerable to a snipe off with the loons. I mean, adjusting the mass drags to any base is super, super easy. And that's why it takes number one. The number one attack strategy at Town Hall 7 is the mass dragons. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I really have for the video. Those are the four strategies. We have GWE, mass hogs, kill squad hogs, and then mass dragons now kill squad hogs and mass hogs could be interchangeable you know kill squad hogs could be a little less weaker or they might be even even strength it just depends on the location of the king if the king's on the outside of the base or like towards the outside and you can kill him with your king i just use mass hogs mass hogs is like super easy to use it doesn't really take too much to use it but if he's on the middle of the base i that's when i try to go with the kill squad hogs because you know the king can cause an issue with your attack but uh, mass dragons easy number one choice super powerful if you don't have the dragons definitely get them level them up and start smashing bases with the mass dragons attack strategy that's all i have for the video guys that's the top four attack strategy of talent 7 as of right now and like i said i don't think it's gonna be changing anytime soon because you know talent 7 doesn't really get many updates itself so but yeah guys that's all i really have if you have any questions feel free to let me know down in the comment section and i will get back to you but again if you want to see any of the attacks and more detail the links are in the description i go over more replays and i talk it through and all that other good stuff but other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helped and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching everyone